Good morning, everyone. Oh, wow, the mic is hot. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to AWS uh, Community Day Singapore. This is our first ever Community Day. So, I was uh, just really like to appreciate you all for taking the time down on a precious Saturday uh, to actually spend the time with us. So my name is Steve. Uh, I think some of you might know me. I actually run the AWS user group in Singapore for the past five years. I'm also a community hero, and uh, this is uh, just my CCA. I'm not paid to do this, right? I have a full-time job uh, as an engineering manager in a cybersecurity company. Okay, so yeah, just want to share. So really, AWS Community Days, they are really just community-led conferences uh, very authentic, uh, and this is not the first in the world, right? There are many other user groups all around the world, all organizing community days of their own. And the whole idea is really just for today, right? To have it all just community-led. That comes from the volunteer base, that comes from the speakers itself. Uh, so a lot of the things that you see over here, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not like an enterprise conference. This is a community conference. So that's a very big distinction. And to really just show you what I mean by that, all the names of the people here, they're the people that you can see right now. They're all the volunteers that are walking around here, that are outside, they are in the different rooms. Every single one of the folks here is a volunteer, not paid to do this. Yeah. So really, I really appreciate them. And uh, you know, just to get to this level where we are here right now has been a huge, uh, I would say, a, a mole healer, right? Okay, so um, really, the the uh, the user group is the one that is org organizing this, right? But we don't do this on our own. Uh, I'm not I'm not a single person. There's a lot of people that's helping in in the background, like I said just now, and um, and I think most of us, uh, if you if you are from Singapore and if probably you found out about us, you would have seen us on Meetup.com. So that's where we are. Um, so yeah. We are also on Discord. Uh, we are very uh, active on Discord. So if you do have uh, some AWS technical issues, talk to us. You got some uh, someone hijacking your AWS account? Come into our channel. Also, we will we will be there somehow to help you, right? So just come inside and just be friendly. Just uh, just talk to us. Uh, we will be there. That's where all our planning is. That's where we are. So I just want to really give a few shout outs before I continue with the rest of the session, right? So um, really, we are really supported and we're very thankful for the sponsors, uh, the partners uh, that uh, we have. And one of our biggest supporters, of course, is AWS, right? Our monthly meetups are in the AWS office, the conference uh, venue that you see over here, a lot of the background work is supported by AWS. Right, and uh, I'm thankful for uh, like key people like Serena, Johnny, uh, who is there, <laughs> right, uh, and also Shafras, who's not here. But really, a lot of the the sides of these things is really supported by the generous um, uh, hospitality of of the assistants, lah. Yeah. So another one that I want to shout out is actually engineers.sg. So for for those who don't know, right, uh, like the recording that you see right now. And in, the, and in the breakout track, that is all by engineers.sg. Fully volunteer run, uh, headed by Michael Cheng, who is sitting there right now. And uh, they have been doing this for the past, I think, eight or nine years, from my understanding. I mean, that's how long I can remember. Right? Michael, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Right? So, so a lot of the tech meetups in Singapore, almost all the tech meetups in Singapore uh, have actually been recorded by the engineers.sg crew. So they are doing this in their own free time, and that is really a tremendous effort. Lah. So really just a huge shout out for them. Now, uh, we're all sitting in a very nice venue here, right? and this is really made possible with the partnership of uh, this organization uh, called uh, Tech Talent Assembly, or TTAP for short. Yeah. So TTAP is actually a NTUC affiliate. NTUC is the national the, the workers' union in Singapore. So National Trades uh, Union Congress, and and really, uh, they what what they really want to do right is they want to represent all the the the, the IT professionals in Singapore, uh, just to build up tech talents for the future. 
So if you see it on the screen, right, there's a lot of activities that they organize. Taught le le leadership series, career conversations for TTAP members, learning journeys uh, to tech companies, even monthly Toastmaster sessions, right? And that is just, uh, can be all gained just joining uh, with, their, with their membership, lah, which is, I think there's, there's a paid component to it, right? But uh, if, when you pay for it, you, you do have access to the NDUC, uh, the card and stuff like that. So just really a lot of benefits, and uh, for, for me it was quite surprising when I got to know what, uh, what they were doing. So uh, just, just really a big shout out uh, for them over here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, um, so our main sponsor for today, and actually for the past uh, six months, has been Trend Micro. Trend Micro has uh, really been uh, quite a huge supporter of what the user group has been doing. Uh, if you look at some of their accolades, right, Global Marketplace Partner of the Year Award last year that was announced during reInvent, and uh, of course they, they are a security company, right? You know them for security products, so they are a leader in uh, in this category of solutions called CNA PP, right? So they have a product uh, called Cloud One. So if you are really uh, interested um, in to find out more, on, and also for TTAP, which I mentioned earlier, look out for them outside at the Level Eight for Year. Uh, that's where the registration is. They have set up booths all over there, yeah. And uh, and just really just one last shout out. Um, like uh, I think some of you all know that after we resume the meetups uh, post COVID, right? The the sessions, the drinks, the the beers, the food after all the meetups has been sponsored by them. So for us, right, they are really really uh, off officially and unofficially our number one uh, security sponsor, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, actually, the co-sponsor for this event also uh, is this company called Ivin. It's a global company. So um, I think it's quite clear what they do, but really, they just provide managed uh, open source data technologies. If you're using Postgres, Kafka, and OpenSearch uh, on ma major clouds, they can help you to host it. They can do all the heavy lifting for, for you itself. Yeah. So if you just want to focus on your data value chain, don't want to focus too much on the infrastructure, you should look out for them. Uh, they're available on the marketplace, and they're also at the level eight for you. Okay? Oh, yes, and just one more. So uh, this one is uh, with regards to the, uh, with the venue itself, with, with NTUC. So uh, Young NTUC is just the, the youth wing of, of, of N NTUC itself. Yeah. So uh, now that I've shared with you a lot more of what the, 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 the activities of these trade unions they do, right? Just, just bear in mind that, you know, there exists such support organizations that can help you to advance your careers. Okay, so uh, can I invite uh, Mr. Joel Garcia? So he's the head of technology ASEAN, uh, AWS, to just uh, say a few words to the crowd. Yeah. All right. Um, so first of all, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> it's really great to see everybody in person. If, uh, if somebody would uh, ask me uh, about two years ago um, what, what my prediction would have been for in-person events, I think I would have only gotten as far as uh, telling, telling everyone about how cool my work from home setup was. <laughs> Fast forward to today, I think we're very thankful that, uh, that, we get, that we're actually getting to meet in person. My name is Joel Garcia. Um, I actually have, a, I'm humbled because I have the opportunity to lead a group of talented individuals, right, that help accelerate our customers' transformation by leveraging the power of the AWS cloud across 11 countries, right? I'm very, very proud uh, to be here today, uh, but let me take a step back and uh, kind of do a little bit of a flashback on the history um, with, um, uh, with Singapore, right, and, and what we've been doing in the Asia-Pacific region. So in 2010, we launched our region in Singapore. And since then, we've invested $6.5 billion, right, and trained over 200,000 people since 2017, right? According to a, sur uh, according to a survey that we conducted, right, the most, the most in-demand skills by 2025 are going to be in the area around cloud and cybersecurity. Right, and we kind of focus on making sure that we kind of help address those gaps. In keeping up with that demand, right, we're also at a frenetic pace of innovation. Right? If I were to tell you just some stats, 
uh, in 2011, uh, with AWS, we launched about 80 services and features. And if we kind of fast forward to 2018, it was 1,947. Um, next year was 2,048, 2,757. And in 2021, it was 3,057 services and features that we announced. So we continue to kind of uh, increase that pace of innovation, right? And that's direct feedback both from our customers because 90% of what we build are direct feedback from what we hear from our customers and communities like this, right, and the user groups, right? Um, uh, what's interesting is that kind of innovation has led to things like having over, and I'm sure some of you will know, over 600 instance types uh, in EC2, right? So that's the kind of innovation that we're driving. Some of the announcements that you've seen uh, from, from reInvent Donnie and the rest of the team are kind of going to go over into the recap. So very, very exciting. But then I want to be able to take a, 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 so first of all, I want to be able to take a lens and say thank you also to, to the user group, right? Over the past 10 years, this user group has grown to over 7,000 members. And ever since the, uh, the in-person uh, restrictions were lifted in June 2022, the user group has been meeting consistently right, uh, every month, right, leading up to this event. So this has been incredible, right? But this community, whether you're a first-time attendee, whether you're a tenured attendee, or whether you're somewhere in between, I encourage you to go and interact and attend and network because this is the, this is the venue of, and this community, uh, of, of being able to learn and kind of network with one another, right, which is, which is uh, really exciting. Uh, with that, uh, obviously, part of the things that we do with the community, you'll get advanced, you'll get some advanced information on what may be coming next, some of the betas that we're, uh, that we're looking at in terms of services and interacting with you and getting direct feedback uh, that may potentially influence some of those services moving forward. With that, I'd like to say thank you again to uh, the leaders in this team. I want to say thank you to Steve, uh, to Badri, to Pamu, to Michael. And, as Steve mentioned earlier, to the over 30 volunteers, right, that have taken their time off to make this event happen today. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Joel. Yes. So I'll come to the second part of, uh, you know, just to brief you all what's going to happen today itself. <clears throat> so firstly, I'd just like to go through the code of conduct. And it's just a very simple uh, code of conduct. Okay, the first thing is keep the place clean, right? So uh, if you're eating lunch later, just uh, try to mi minimize the amount of uh, uh, mess that there is, right? And all the people here are community. We are here to spend a good Saturday together, to learn together, to network together, keep the conversations friendly, be friendly to one another. That's com community, right? And uh, of course, please, uh, if someone is maybe not uh, comfortable uh, with you, please don't harass them, right? I mean, it's, it's not something that we expect in this conference, but it, do, it does happen. So it's just something uh, we just want to point out in that sense. Yeah, okay. And of course, for the respect for speakers, the speakers are spending their time uh, putting in the effort to actually uh, deliver good sessions and for them to fully concentrate, uh, we just hope that uh, uh, for, for them, just keep, your, keep it quiet, let them focus, and then uh, it will be a good one. Yeah, and, uh, and lastly, I think this is just something particular for just these conferences of this scale, is that we want to keep the timing today very consistent, very sharp, no overruns, right? as minimal overruns as possible. That means we are not going to be allowing questions. Okay? So if you want to have questions with the speakers later, find them after the, the, the talk and talk to them. That's the best time, but not during the session itself. Okay? Yep. So really, today we have 18 speakers. They are not just coming from Singapore, they're coming from all parts of the world. So like we have Christian over there, uh, coming in from Perth, he's the Perth user group leader itself. Uh, Rang Ranga and Kratik, they're actually from, from India. Uh, Sonu and uh, his friend, Hiro, right? they're all coming in from Japan. You know, all on their own budget. Right? So really, it's just re really thankful for all these international speakers. Uh, I believe there's a Mo uh, Mohammed Wali over here. 
right? I uh, don't think he's here yet, but he's actually coming in from the ne ne Netherlands itself. Yeah. So for today, really, this is all the speakers you're going to, uh, to, do, to hear from, and I'll just go through uh, more details in, in, in from, for now. Right. So um, if you have no idea what the schedule is going to be, it's very simple. This card that you have, the lanyard, scan the QR code that goes to our website. Okay, so that's, that's one way to figure out what the schedule is for today itself. Now, uh, I will go through with the more uh, detailed schedule uh, that you see over here. Yeah. So for today, there's actually uh, three tracks. Okay, there are three tracks. Uh, this is the main track. This is the auditorium. We are on level seven. Okay, so uh, the talks after this will be, we will have the recap session. After the recap session, uh, we have uh, Ranga who's been talking about uh, serverless, so it's a bit small on my side, right? After that, it will be lunchtime. After lunch, uh, Mohammed Wali will be giving uh, a talk on maximizing the value of uh, business value for cost optimization in a well-architected framework itself. Yep. And then after that, uh, Sonu uh, at 1:40 to 2:10, uh, he'll be talking about simplifying design complexities using serverless architecture on AWS itself. Christian, uh, treating your AWS pain points. So if you have some interesting things, you maybe you just want to understand more from an AWS side, uh, some of these uh, things that are tried and tested and some of these uh, experiences that we have, I think you should listen to his talk. So that's by Christian itself. Uh, at 310, uh, Steve Ng from New Relic, he'll be talking about how New Relic actually uh, unlocked scal scalability on their platform uh, with cell-based architecture on a a AWS, right? At, at 3.40 uh, to 4.10, uh, Badri, uh, who's actually uh, our user group uh, co-leader itself, he's actually going to be giving a talk on building an enterprise-grade multi-account AWS environment because that's what he's doing in his own day job itself. Okay? And uh, we really hope that you guys uh, stay all the way to the end because from 4.20 to 5.10, there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening. Uh, we're going to have... a uh, uh, epic Kahoot quiz, right? I think some of you might have played with the December one, so you know how epic this could be. So prizes over there are very attractive, uh, very attractive and sponsored by Trend Micro. So thank you for them in advance, right? Um, then with the uh, closing address, uh, photograph, and also lastly, there will be a T-shirt giveaway, okay? But you have to stay all the way to the end, okay? So please don't run off. If you do run off, then there's no T-shirt. Yep, okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, so, so that was for the main track. Now, in the, in the breakout track, right, uh, that is on the level nine, uh, room 903. You go up the escalator, uh, I think, to the top, right, and you walk all the way that side. You will see the banners, you cannot miss it. This building, this, this venue is very small, right? So, so you cannot miss it. But over there, that's where we have our breakout track. We have other speakers. Uh, talking over there. So at 11.20 to 11.50, uh, simplifying your application network connectivity with the latest networking launches from reInvent. So if you're interested to find out what are the uh, networking uh, features that will help you with your next network architecture, right? Listen to Bumi, he'll be talking about that. For followed by that, uh, lunchtime, 11.50 to 12.55. Uh, lunch will be at level seven, the mezzanine. So both the main tracks and the, and the breakout track will end the session at the same time, so we will have all lunch together at the same time. The mezzanine is just below, uh, two, two levels below this level. There will be ushers, there will be signs to help you. If you are lost, just follow the crowd, okay? Um, okay. And then after that, at one o'clock to 1.30, now this one is gonna be very interesting. We're going to have a fireside uh, chat, uh, and, and this is actually with the tech community leaders in Singapore. So uh, I'll be facilitating that uh, with Michael Cheng and uh, two other community leaders, Max and Saloni. So we'll be just having a chat. If you are really interested to find out how the tech community is, how you can get involved, uh, how have people built up their experience, what is in it for you in the community itself, I highly encourage you to just uh, go to this very interactive session. Okay. Um, and next, uh, Chatra, he'll be talking about um, automating the deployment of software agents centrally using Systems Manager. So if you're an ops guy, you 
maybe haven't done a lot of systems manager, but you're very interested in this, go to his talk. No, next. Uh, Ash, uh, Ash, Ash, Ashok, he'll be talking about AWS uh, cloud automation platform with Terraform and Jenkins. So I believe this is something that he has actually done in his own uh, day job. So he's going to share the experience of what he has done. So definitely, if he has done in his day job, there's better, harder experience. So if you really want to know more, you want to apply it to your own organization, go and listen to his talk. Yep. After that, uh, Paul. Paul, um, uh, he'll be talking about your, your, your unifying your security data with Amazon Security Lake and OCSF. So for, so for those who don't know, uh, Security Lake was actually a very big security feature that was launched uh, during reInvent itself. So, so if you are really interested to find out more, may, maybe you are a security guy, or you could be a partner that is developing security solutions on that, uh, this will be the talk uh, that you should go for. Yeah. And uh, lastly, 340 to 410, uh, Chen Yang, he's from AWS under the BI team, uh, he'll be talking about building trust in your data and improving your data quality uh, with automated frameworks on AWS. So if you're a data guy, you deal with data day to day, you, you do data engineering day to day itself, uh, you are interested uh, in this line of talk, go for his talk. Uh, lastly, for the, uh, uh, there was two tracks I covered. The last one is actually the workshop track. So the workshop track is actually uh, interesting, right? And uh, it's actually on level nine, uh, room 901, just, uh, just before the breakout track area. There will be two workshops for today, and it's, uh, you know, hands-on, bring your own laptop. So if you have laptops, which I, I believe most of you all came here with laptops, right? And if you're interested in, uh, for the first one, which is uh, securing your Amazon EKS cluster with Falco, this will be developed by Yongkang. So Yongkang is actually uh, very prominent in the Kubernetes and the container space. You can see him on LinkedIn almost every, every, every day. La. Right. So you just, just if you want to know more, go for his workshop. Right. Now, the second workshop is actually uh, by Critic o over there, and he was going to be uh, you know, showing how you can use EC2 as your personal computer, featuring VS Code. Yeah. So I think that's going to be quite interesting uh, for those developers who just want to try something very different right? and just want to experience what it's like to do that. Go for his workshop. Okay. So that's pretty much uh, what um, to today is really, really is about. And uh, lastly, like I, I, I mentioned, um, uh, with all the sessions, they will all end at 4.10. At 4.20, we come back here, and we come back here to, to do the, the prizes, the closing address, take a nice, good photograph, uh, T-shirt giveaway, like I mentioned. So we really, really hope that you spend your day with us, and uh, you know, we'll just uh, make your time worth it to do so. Yeah. Really? And that's about it. Thank you. Um, that was really the opening address, and we will go shortly into the recap sessions. Yeah. Thank you.